All right, I think we're streaming on Facebook. This Zoom thing gets me confused all the time. Let me see if I can get my phone. I can check who's watching. I'm gonna wait for a few for a few moments to make sure. Okay, here we are. All right, got oh I even got like a translation, like subtitles. That's cool. So anyway, guys, um, some of you wanted me to tag you on the video. So obviously I can do that. Let's see if someone in my team can tag you up. And in the meantime, if you're watching, type below who are you? Well, not who are you because I see a name, but type who, from where you're watching it from. And if you have any question, guys, uh, I'm gonna try to share my screen and go over a, a quick presentation that I have, which is the content that I share with my clients. And the reason I'm doing that is because it, well, everyone's talking about content, organic marketing, and nobody understands how LinkedIn works. The thing is that people go on Instagram and they, they do stories, they go on Facebook and understand how to create content and stuff. And then they go on LinkedIn and then all you see on LinkedIn is business and posts that have like three likes, right? And then I'm assuming the, you go, you, you, if you have a LinkedIn account, chances are that you, your engagement is very low, isn't it? Um, so anyway, I'm gonna keep an eye on my phone and while I'm sharing my screen. And the thing is that if you understand how the algorithm works on LinkedIn, if you understand how to create content, not only your content will get engagement and you can get leads and sales out of the engagement, but you're gonna be able to drive 10X, like 10X is to say something. But um, for example, when I was only on 5,000 followers on LinkedIn, 5,000 connections, some of my posts got up to 53,000 views. That is, that is more than 10 times the, the number of connections that I have. Now, 53,000 views, if you compare this to most people that get 100, this is way more than, with way more than 10 times, right? Hey, hey Anna, Annie from Dubai, thanks for watching. Uh, look guys, uh, smash the love button. Let me know where you're watching from. If it's replay, hashtag replay, if you're watching live, type like. Um, okay, LinkedIn is, a, is especially important because not many people understand the platform first thing. If you understand how to create content and how to generate these conversations on LinkedIn, it's a perfect place to find your leads. Um, hi, Jer Jamie. Uh, now, of course you wanna build relationships, okay? The, the, the fact that this is a business oriented platform doesn't mean that you can start pitching your stuff right away. And a lot of people do that. Guess what? They send you a message, they send you the link, they think you're gonna buy. This is rubbish. You don't do that. You don't do that on LinkedIn. You don't do that anywhere. This is not right, okay? People need to build a connection with you before they buy from you, okay? This is not a petrol station. People buy a commodity and they stop, they fill the, the tank with gas and then they run away you're going to build a relationship and then you're going to sell them. They're going, they are going to buy from you, okay? So just to show you very quickly, let's see if I can do that. That's going to be a tricky part now. Okay, let me see, where am I? One second, guys. Let me see if I can find you. Am I frozen? <laughs> I'm frozen. <laughs> one second, one second. Okay. Let's see if you guys can hear me. I think I'm, I'm, I'm completely frozen but you should be able to see my screen. So I can still, I can still see you guys, uh, your comments. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to, yeah, okay. So the, the, the screen is, is working. I'm, uh, my image is frozen, but who cares? <laughs> so, all right, let's do that. Hey, content creation hacks. Now, 
why is that important okay why is that important it is important to have good engagement because what's going to happen is that you're going to have people seeing your content okay and all this content all these people looking at your content they, the thing that they're going to do next is click on your profile and look at your profile okay and if they like what they see on the content if they see your content and you have a good tagline and your profile is properly optimized when they jump on your profile they will see what you are all about. So for example, you know guys that I work with business leaders, coaches and consultants to ethically grow online. And I say ethically because we don't spam people, we don't push shit to people, we don't push people to buy stuff, okay? We do the right thing, we get people results and that's what's allowing us to grow our business. Now, if you happen to be a business leader or you want to grow online or you, you resonate with the words ethically or you want to understand what's emotional brand intelligence, you want to learn about LinkedIn strategy, then you might feel inclined to jump on my page and read a little bit of what we do. And then you'll see my about, you'll understand much better what we're doing. You see the results that we're getting for people and you see some of my clients making a quarter of a million dollars in 10 months or $100,000 a month. And you're going to see all these things here. This is the best landing page that you can have online. Now, how do you drive traffic here? Well, you drive traffic here in two different ways. The first way it will be to creating good content and creating good content that it's actually going to want people to look for more. So let's go back. Content creation hacks, OK? And I'm gonna go very quick. If you guys want more information, if you want me to drop this this PDF, I want I want to see your comments in the freaking video. I want to see this the the love button <laughs> going bananas. And you can ask me later on uh, if you want it, and I'll personally reach out to you, and and I'll see if I can drop it to you or give you a hand with your content. So now, look, important, okay. You want 30% of your content to be in video format. Why is that? Because this is how you build the relationships with your audience. This is how they get to know you, like you, and trust you, okay? Now, also, it's not everything is video, con is video content because you want to put video content is not going to have a lot of engagement, but it's going to build a lot of trust. Now, when it comes to topics, some people think that what you need to do is post business, business, business on LinkedIn, and that's not true. People will connect with you. So what you want to create is personal content. You want to talk about business as well, but not buy with me, uh, buy from me, uh, work with me, book your free call. You don't want to be salesy. You want to uh, share your story, okay? Link it to your business. Talk about your business while you speak, while, while you explain what's your story. Super important, guys. And I'm not going to go in depth into the types of, of content that you can create on LinkedIn. On LinkedIn, you can create a lot of different types of content, but you always want to work or want to use personal story. Super important. Now, the content that's always going to perform incredibly better is the one that where you share shocking vulnerability, okay? That means you make yourself vulnerable. You share your story in a way that it makes you vulnerable. It, you show your strengths, but you also show your weaknesses. Engagement. You need to do the engagement, okay? I didn't get, like, this, this post here, they're not great when it comes to engagement. They, they don't have a lot of engagement, but if you look, if you look at that, it's 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 a decent amount of beers. I mean, it's not great because my engagement could could be could be done better. But what's gonna? Well, I'm always talking about personal stuff, and I do. I show personal things. I show my family. I show client results for social proof, and I give as much value as I possibly can. So this is super important, okay? And if you look at my content on Facebook and my content on LinkedIn, it's, it's gonna be the same because you want people to connect with you, okay? And people, when you get them interested in what you do, you will generate these conversations that are gonna lead into a business conversation and then a phone call. And then finally, you will be enrolling clients. And this is how we've made multiple six figures in the last year only on LinkedIn. Now, engagement hacks. Look guys, if you wanna, having, um, an engagement bot is 
particularly important on LinkedIn because when you engage with someone else's content, everyone in your network will see these people content. When someone with 10,000, 20,000, half a million followers engages with your stuff, their audience will see your content. This is how you increase your engagement exponentially. So this is why we have um, Telegram engagement bot that it's called the LinkedIn Legends. And if you guys want to get access, I'm going to be dropping the link in the title of this video. And I'm also, if, if you don't know how to get in, please reach out and let me know. And I'll, I'll make sure that it'll get you in and that you get your engagement at least to 10 times of what it is now. Now, <clears throat> there's a, a few more hacks here. I'm not gonna go in detail. If you're interested in, in reading the PDF, you can stop the video and read it or just shoot me a message or drop a comment here, tag me in the comments and we'll personally reach out to you to give you a copy of that. Now, super important, when you create content, you don't drop content and walk away. You spend time engaging with your audience and you spend time getting back to your audience. That means that people commenting on your stuff, you want to get back to them. People commenting on your post, you want to give them a, a meaningful comment back. Um, that is super important. Super important, guys, because it's about generating these conversations. It's about generating this trust. And the conversations are not only being taking place into your inbox, they also having place on your timeline, on other people's posts, on your, on your page, because that's what happens, right? When you go on your timeline and you start commenting on people who might be within your ideal niche or it's in your ideal clients, not only they're going to see that stuff, but all the people commenting here, they're going to see your comments. Okay, if I comment here, I'm going to see this. So this guy, 30,000, 30 million increased retail and e-com sales. Okay, so if I'm looking into e-com, I might be interested and in reach out to Joseph because he's commenting on here, you know? So you never know who's watching. So you really want to make sure that your comments are meaningful, that you're actually giving value and that you are being an active member of the platform, okay? And we have in, in our, in our um, team, we have a bunch of account setters, uh, sorry, account managers and BAs that do this for us. So you don't need to spend a lot of time on the platform. But if you're just getting started, I recommend that you spend time on the platform, okay? Now, your hashtag strategy, and I'm going really fast, guys, because there's a lot of stuff. LinkedIn algorithm is super complex, but when you get a hang of it, I promise it's going to help you get the results that you're looking for in your business. I need LinkedIn works like a treat. It is, it is a very underrated platform, and it has a huge potential that, that is really untapped. Now, your hashtag strategy. You see people posting hashtags and you see this, con this post that are, they, they, they've got more blue than anything else. You need to stop doing that. And on Facebook as well, by the way, if you're posting on Facebook and you're posting like more than two hashtags, this is a waste of your time. It's gonna blow up your, your engagement because it's not gonna work. Um, and, 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 and it doesn't make you look good because it, it makes you look like someone who doesn't understand the platform. On LinkedIn, you wanna use two hashtags. Two hashtags plus your own, okay? My hashtag is the unstoppables. So if we go to LinkedIn and you search for hashtag the unstoppables, you will find a bunch of my posts. There's someone else using the same link, which is a little bit annoying. But here, you, as you see, we got about 200 followers, which is not much. But, you know, it's good. And then you choose, okay? You can choose general hashtags, which are going to reach, it's going to make your post to reach to a wider audience. You want to choose more dedicated hashtags or more niche hashtags. Then you want also to reach to the people that might be in an even smaller niche, but you want to make sure that they see your content. So you need to choose your hashtags, okay? There's some examples here, social media marketing, uh, small business and entrepreneurship, women on LinkedIn, and personal networking. 
tags. So you want to do a little bit of research and use always three of these, these hashtags, okay? One is yours, the other two are from the platform or not yours, so you reach to a different audience. Is it making sense? Adriana Market is watching. Thanks for watching, Adriana. Engagement bots. This is what I told you before, guys. I'm going to post the link to that. You need Telegram, okay? Is a Telegram app. And if you don't have the Telegram app, you need to install it. And the way that the, the bots work, it's a little bit different than any bot that you've been that you've been part of before. And look, there's no secret, okay? This is this is not rocket science. Um, if you want to get something out of the platform, you need to put in as much as you want to get out. Now, if you think that you're going to use one of these engagement pods and you're going to drop your link and everyone's going to jump on your content and, and engage like crazy, you, you're very wrong. You give before you expect. Okay, usually what's gonna happen is that you're gonna jump on these, these pods or you're gonna jump on the platform. This is the vibe that we have or that there is on this particular platform. And LinkedIn, LinkedIn it's got like its own mindset, its own vibe, and you need to be there and give back to the community, add value and make sure that you be being seen, okay? And this is when you're gonna start having other people reaching out engaging in your content, even reaching out to your inbox. Like, I've made beautiful friends that they've seen my content. They say, hey, Carlos, we, we see that you're doing something different. We are we are inspired by what you're doing and what you're trying to do in the platform. And I got clients like that, and I got all beautiful connections that they might not become clients today, but it is what I call ideal future clients, okay? So it's about building the relationships. It, and this is across platforms, guys. There is no such thing as a platform that you jump in, you drop your shit in there and people jump and buy it, okay? You need to spend time building relationships. And of course we have systematized ways to do that and people who are doing that for us and for our clients. But when you're just getting started, you need to spend time in there. Now, again, if you want the guide, I'm not gonna read it, it's pointless. And I only have like a couple more minutes, but here's how the actual, engagement works and this is for the VAs. This is something that you can give to your VA, your VA will understand how you they need to do the engagement and that's gonna generate that you're gonna get a lot of eyes on your content and a lot of eyes on your profile. And finally, okay, this is the key of my content success on Instagram. And this costed me like a year and thousands of dollars to come up with. And Basically, all my posts, and I suggest you go to my LinkedIn uh, profile, and I'll drop the link in the comments or uh, or above in the in the title of the video, and you can see that all my posts look the same. Uh, you always have an intro, and the intro is this little piece of content that it's actually at the top, and it's gonna make people want to read more. In this case, I say. Today on a dive, when I saw that I was running out of oxygen, I freaked out. This is what happened next. So what's, what this is going to generate is people wanting to know more. And when they click on see more, that counts as a view. The more views you have on your content, the more people will see your post. Why? Because LinkedIn is gonna show it to more people. Now, the second thing is the body. And you need to treat that if, as if you were writing a little book. It doesn't matter if you talk business or you talk about personal life, think about writing a little story that steers the emotion, that presents practical takeaways or something that the reader can get as value after reading. So you so they're gonna come back for more. That's super important. Write about relatable problems and inspiring accomplishments, especially if your audience are going to relate with it, okay? And yeah, be human and courageous and be brave enough to be vulnerable, okay? If you pretend that you're doing great all the time, no one's gonna buy into your bullshit because nobody believes this thing. Okay, is it making sense, guys? Uh, let me know where you're watching from. And if you have any question, that's the moment because once you're watching the live, I'm not gonna respond to your questions. Um, the ending. You want to give them like something that they say, oh, yes, that's exactly what I was looking for. That's going to give them the aha moment, okay? 
take them through through a little journey, a little journey that it starts with the intra, it goes through the body and it has an ending. And finally, what you want to do is you want to prompt them to respond. You want to ask them a question, something that says, hey, are you with me? Um, did, did this ever happen to you? Why? Because the more comments you get on your content, the more likes, uh, sorry, the more you, the algorithm is going to help you get your content seen. And the more people will see it. So it grows exponentially, okay? And finally, signature, okay? You want to have your unique hashtag. And also, you want to have your name. And I'm going to show you how it looks like. This is the intro here, and I'm not going to read it because you can go to my profile and read it. And this is the body. This is the ending, which is the summary of the takeaway. The question, do you agree? And I ask them to comment below. And finally, this is my signature, okay? I always will be changing these two hashtags here. They keep changing depending on the topic of the, of the actual post. Follow the unstoppable so people follow you and you'll get eventually more likes when people start looking for your hashtag. If you create valuable content, um, again, you need to spend time creating content and content that just adds value to people, okay? And finally, sign, tag yourself. And that's gonna help the searches. When people search for you, for your name or things that are related to your name, this is gonna help to come up as a in a better ranking position. So that's all. I hope that that was valuable, guys. Um, LinkedIn is, a, as I said before, not many people know how to use it, not even the people that says they know how to use it. And I know because for a year and a half, I've bought into every single LinkedIn program out there. And some people, Marta Botica, hola Marta. Some people will use LinkedIn as a lead generation machine. And this is a big fuck up because they don't connect with their audience. And some people use LinkedIn to connect with the audience, but they have no idea how to monetize this audience. So there's the influencers for one side that they build audiences, but they don't make any money. And there is on the other side, the people who are lead generators or people who are business oriented, they don't have, they don't know anything about building relationships. So when you put the two things together, when you understand that people will work with you when they know you, like you and trust you, the whole game is going to change, and I promise. Um, uh, we we sign up the the last client that signed up into your program into our program. He he sent me a message a month ago, and and I'm like, whoa, why do you send me a message now if we've been talking for the last two years? He's like, well, because I wasn't ready to buy it then, but now that I needed your services, I keep seeing your content popping up every day. And, you know, there was a no brainer. I knew exactly where, where I had to go. So this is the part of creating content. If you just burn your leads, if you just burn your connections, sending them connection requests, messages, and, and, and your spammy offers, I promise, this is not going to be a long run uh, success. It's going to be a <laughs> short term failure. So I hope that was valuable, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, Tag me below and I'll get back to every one of you and I'll reach out to your inbox and I'll send you the PDF if that's something that you want to do. And if you're not on LinkedIn yet, you should. And now is the time where I should stop this. And because I'm frozen, let me see. Uh, okay, let me see how I do that. <laughs> okay, guys, um, type in the comments. If you have any question, I'll drop the links to the chat above. And also, um, yeah, the other link, the link to my profile. 